Tis the season to be jolly, except in your travels if you lose your luggage. As travel volume returns to pre-pandemic levels, so has luggage theft. Our media partner, the San Francisco Standard, has published a new article explaining the problem and offering tips for protecting your luggage and ultimately your vacation. Joining us live now to talk about it is SF Standard reporter Kevin Wynn. Hi, Kevin. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Kristen, good to be with you. All right, so you've got new data from both the federal government and SFPD that illustrate how big of a problem this is becoming, right? Tell us about those numbers. Yeah, um, while the, the rate of theft remains steady, the total volume of lost bags has actually doubled year over year. SFPD told us that the 120 uh, thefts have already been reported this year versus only 67 uh, the entirety of last year. And nationwide, the Department of Transportation reports that um, major airlines have mishandled uh, 2 million bags versus um, roughly 1 million the year before. Interesting. All right, so it's a combination of theft and mishandling and people coming back. Uh, you've also got some new numbers in showing which airlines have the highest and lowest theft rates for luggage, right? Can we take a look at that? Right, yeah. So uh, we derive this by dividing the number of bags lost with total bags checked in. The bottom four airlines are going to be American Airlines, JetBlue, Alaska, and United. And um, on the other side of the spectrum, the major airlines with the lowest theft rates are going to be Spirit, Southwest, Delta, and we threw in Hawaiian Airlines since that's a popular destination. Interesting. Something to keep in mind if you're booking your next flight. Look, what are some factors that make luggage theft easy in the U.S.? Is there something in our airport design? Yeah, you know, unlike some other uh, countries such as Asia, um, you know, the baggage claim area for domestic flights here in the U.S. is open to for anybody to access. Uh, once your bag gets a conveyor belt, it's really up to the travelers to find and locate their bag. Um, and at SFO, for example, um, if it's irregularly shaped or things are left over, they're going to stow that away in a separate but open area that's open to anybody. I've seen that, like 20 bags from this flight just kind of pushed to the corner. Anyone can just take it. And also, I don't think they really compare your claim check, you know, when you're exiting the airport. So there's that, too. OK, so what to do? You've come up with four points for us to remember that might just help us out a little bit. Yeah, go directly to baggage claim after landing. Um, if your bags are delayed, try to meet them right away if you can. You should consider placing a smart tracker in your uh, baggage. Uh, and then make your bag distinctive looking. Thieves tend to target the one to uh, blend in. And then if you absolutely must, if they make you check in your bag at the gate, try to remove the valuables with you um, if possible. Right. I recently read about someone who, you know, she went to the gate or she was about to walk into the plane and they said, sorry, the carry on compartment is full. So they, they took it, you know, and she didn't have time, I think, in the rush of that, trying to get on the plane to take out the valuables. And she lost like two thousand dollars worth of stuff. Yeah, I know exactly. And I think a lot of your viewers have probably been in that situation before, right? You might not want to check in your bags, but sometimes the circumstances dictate otherwise. Right, right. I mean, I do try to do carry on if possible. Uh, and there's kind of a dirty little secret, which is you expect your check luggage will travel with you on the same flight. Is that not always the case? Right. Depending on what other people bring and how full your flight is, um, often what happens is that the airline will uh, put your bag on a later flight. So it can either come a couple hours behind or even sometimes, you know, days after. Whew. OK, so if that happens to you, what are your options if your luggage is not traveling with you? Yeah, you're going to have to take it up with uh, the airline you're flying with because they are the ones who are responsible for um, your luggage. They're going to um, try their best to help you track it down, help you follow it. But if it is lost, um, you can file a claim with the airlines. But um, from what we've seen, each of them are going to require an itemized receipt of all the valuables. And the, it's probably capped um, with a hard dollar limit, too. So if it's an older item, chances are you don't have the receipt anymore and then you could be out of luck? Exactly. And that's the part that uh, is worst for the people that go through this. Um, oftentimes, uh, you, you just have so little recourse. You know. OK. All right. So we have time for just one more thing. What do you want to leave, with, leave us with in terms of like a nugget of wisdom to try to um, ensure we don't become victimized? Yeah. Um, you know, the, the numbers uh, don't necessitate panic, but just try to use common sense. Um, take what you can with you. It's not impossible. Um, but 
yeah, it's um, understand that it's a huge logistical problem and it's not always a one for one thing. Yep, I got out of this conversation. My next suitcase will be pink and I'm tying all sorts of gold bows on it. So it'll be distinctive. All right. Uh, Kevin, Wynn, thank you so much. Really appreciate that information. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you too.